Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Guys, I just a, a, a jump off of the road guys and as I reach in my sets of bomb and you know, I stumble across a big piece of news where from the summer up here in the nose I have to share it to the now. I have to share it to the now. And, yo, I like report good stories on the reggae boys you know man i love when we can report some good things about our national players right and especially a player by the name of blair turgot who i personally have a lot of time for right again one of those reggae boys that i think is criminally underrated guys smash the like button guys you know if you haven't subscribed already you know subscribe to the channel you know, these are free and easy ways to support the channel and give the youth a strength. So guys, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited because we have some very good news to share with you right about now. Guys, reggae boy Blair Turgot has made a big move, guys, back to our European first division. Now, if you guys remember, I had done, I did a video quite a while back talking about a credible platform with a credible journalist out of Scandinavia reporting that a move for Blair Tur Turgot to the United Arab Emirates was basically very close to getting over the line. Now, obviously, that particular deal fell through. It didn't go over the line. You know, the journalist reported that it was close to getting over the line, but it did not happen, right? And, and I'm happy that it didn't happen, especially with a move like this. Guys, Blair Turgot. So you guys know, all right, backstory before we, uh, backstory, uh, why? Anyways, the, 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 the background, right, for want of a better word, see? The background, for those of you who don't know, Blair Turgot was playing with a team called Ostesons last season. Ostesons got relegated. And so now they are playing in the second division. I don't remember. I think they call the second division the Super Etan or something. Um, to, um, I think it's Super Etan them call it, if memory serves me right. Yeah. So now my hope and my prayer for Blair Turgot was that some way, somehow he could make a move back to a European first division because Blair Turgot is better than the Swedish second division. That's facts. Anybody who watched games with this player in Sweden last season knows this player is better than the Swedish second division, no doubt about it. And guys, I don't know if Blair Turgot was praying, he, you know, judging by his Instagram, he seems to be a, a, a man of God, right? A, a, a praying man. Those prayers have been answered because Blair Turgot has just made a move to a club by the name of BK Hacken. Guys, that is a club that is currently playing in the Swedish Osvenkenskan, which is the Swedish first division, guys. On a, on a smash up the like button, on a run up the likes button for reggae boy Blair Turga. This particular club, honestly, I don't know much about them because obviously I don't know, you know, everything about every single club in Europe. Right, but what I can tell you is this club finished 12th, 12th in the 16 team Alzvenskenskan table. Hopefully, yeah, Alzvenskenskan table. So they finished 12th out of 16 teams, right? They finished on 36 points. How much that? Ooh, a holy, holy per points because Astersons finished on 14 points at the foot of the table. So they finished a whole heap of points in front of um, Asterson, more than 20, uh, 22 points in front of Asterson. So they would have finished 12th in the Swedish first year last season. And this season, they are currently occupying a very promising position in the table. This team, BK Hacken, is currently on 11, point, 11 points. We see them sixth currently in the Swedish first division, some five points behind the leaders, Hammarby, which is a team that I know Zlatan Ibrahimovic has a major 
um, um, share, is a major shareholder in that particular football club. So guys, I am, oh, and by the way, I came across this news on Blair Turgot's Instagram page, right? So is it, it is indeed officially seen on his Instagram page, new beginnings, new blessings, and he tags BK Hatton, you know? And you see the pictures with him at the stadium posing in the jersey, right? Guys, I am very, very happy for Blair Turgot. I noticed this. I was wondering if the player was injured or something because I noticed in checking up on, you know, you know, we check up on the reggae boys all across the world. Blair Turgot was not playing for us this season. So, you know, the Swedish first year, it kind of run very strange. I think, uh, we you know, I know, May, I think uh, April it did start, April or March, if memory serves me right. But the, the, the league kind of run unconventional to the times that most European leagues run, I guess because of the weather, you know, the further north you go. But, you know, I was wondering what is taking place with Blair Turgot, how we not see him. And I said to myself, there's either two conclusions, either the player is injured or there is something cooking up behind the scenes in terms of a move, right? And I am happy that the latter proved to be correct. Guys, Blair Turgot last season in 24 games scored 10 goals in the Swedish first team, in the Swedish first tier for a team that finished at the foot rock bottom of the Swedish first tier. Shall I repeat, in 24 games, Blair Turgot stitched 10 goals. That's basically a goal every two games for the worst team in the league, the team that finished at the foot of the table. The season before, and, and by the way, last season, it, a lot of the games that I saw, and judging from the statistics and all of that, for the games that I didn't see, he played in a front two as a forward. By the way, Paul Hall, judging by the system that Paul Hall is playing, I humbly suggest that Paul, and the system and the formation, I humbly suggest that Paul Hall brings back Blair Turgot into the national setup. I think, just saying, I think he can, you know, do big things for Paul Hall in this particular system that Paul Hall is currently deploying in the national team. That's just my opinion, right? The season before that, oh, and by the way, in 29 games overall, when you include the cup games as well last season, in 29 games, he scored 13 goals overall. So overall last season, 13 goals in 29 games. In the Swedish league, 10 goals in 24 games. The season before that, he scored seven goals in 27 games, right? And the, the performances that I saw were performances with him playing on the wings, right? So he played a lot more on the wings in the season before last than last season. Most if not all of last season, he was playing as a forward. So seven goals. In 27 games, right, and Astersons weren't the best team in the league either for a player that played a lot of games as a winger, ain't too bad either. Guys, I'm telling you, I watch games with Blair Turgot in the Swedish first tier, quite a, quite a number of games. And I'm telling you, Turgot is a proper, proper player, and it would have pained my heart to see this player have to spend a season in a league that he has no business being in. Right? He was a quality player that unfortunately found himself in a poor situation for a poor team that was in a financial hot mess. Seen? So I am very, very happy and very, very elated to see Blair Turga back in the big leagues where he belongs in the Swedish first tier. Again, the club is BK Hacken and they are currently in the Swedish first tier, right? So he has moved to a, a club that is performing relatively well, right? Three seasons ago, they finished third in the Swedish league behind Malmo first and Ellsborg second, right? The 2019 season, four seasons ago, they finished in sixth. The 2018 season, they finished in fifth. The 2017 season, they finished in fourth, right? 2016, 
they finished 10th. So this is a is a team that spends a lot of time in the Swedish first tier, right? This is not a, a yo-yo sort of a club or you know one of the lower clubs in the Swedish first tier. This is indeed a decent team, a team of decent standing in the Swedish first tier. And if he could score 10 goals in 24 games at the worst team in the Swedish first tier last season, right? I am willing to bet that this move will work out very well for both the player and the, 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 the club, right? I'm not so sure at this particular moment, you know, how did this work? If it was like, a, 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 if there was a feed play, paid rather for Blair Turgot. Let me see if I can see something. Hold on, let me just see if I can see something. All right, I'm not seeing anything currently. Not seeing anything currently as it pertains to a possible fee that was paid, you know, for the player. You know, I'll probably report that at another time. I just saw the story and get, got so excited, I just turned on the camera. But guys, again, big news. Blair Turgot making a big move. Happy to see the baller, you know, making a move to a place where he belongs, hopefully. And I have no doubt Blair Turgot will go there and he will do just fine. So again, guys, knock up the like button, guys. Knock up the like button. Smash the like button for Blair Turgot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Free and easy ways to give you some strength. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.